Hello YouTube. If you've been having this problem in the recent uh, week with your flashed Xbox 360 console, it's pretty common around. When you try to play backups on a flashed console with the latest iStream Light Touch Plus, you're probably going to get this. This disc is unreadable, or you'll get a this disc is um, <clears throat> unreadable and it'll tell you to clean the disc, restart the console, or it'll either tell you to open the tray. Now I figure out a fix for this problem <clears throat> on ba using backups. You'll need a copy of Halo Combat Evolved for Xbox. Uh, any edition works. Game of the Year, Platinum Hits. So this copy I got off the internet for eight bucks. Usually they go for five to ten dollars online. They're not that expensive, as you can see. It's a pretty old game. <clears throat> now, just hit OK once you get this error, and take this, take the game. Now head over to your Xbox, and take out your backup. As you can see, I have Halo Reach here, but it could be any backup. Get Halo Combat Evolved. Just pop that sucker in like that. Alright, now back to the screen. Let it read for a couple of moments, and it should be heading to Halo. Alright, so now you hit play Halo. Just give it a moment for it to load up and <clears throat> get to the menu. Hit A on your controller to skip this. Yes, now head down to campaign. Pick any profile. Now, I know a lot of you people haven't beaten the campaign like I have. For simplicity, I'm going to do the Pillar of Autumn. And you're going to want to select <clears throat> uh, Heroic or Legendary just because uh, you can skip the intro. If you really want to fight through and play this level actually and go through the intros, then you can pick these no difficulties. But you just need Heroic because you're only going to be playing through like very, very few mo uh, part of the game, part of this level actually. So you can press A to skip this intro. You'll be here. Seeing the Master Chief get out. Come on, we've got to get the hell out of here. All right. I know you think this can't be serious, but this really does fix the problem now. Let's get to the end here. Jump over these. You have to play up to a certain part of the level just for the disc to spin at max. And let's see. I'm going to be playing a little bit past this part. Skip that. Alright. Almost there. Going in here, checkpoint. I don't keep it loaded, so you'll have to find out. Alright, you can just skip this by pressing it. Cutscene, alright. We're almost there. At this point, all you need to do is get a gun out and just shoot some enemies. Let the game load just a little bit mo longer. Those Marines could use some help, Chief. Yes. Do what you do best. At this point, you can hit start on your controller to pause the game. Now, <clears throat> since the level's loaded through what it's required to load through, we're going to go back on our Xbox system, and back on the Xbox. And now we're just going to eject the dray. This isn't a hot swap, but it doesn't have to be that quick. Just take your Halo disc out, put in your backup, and head back on screen. Obviously, you're going to be at the dashboard. But after this, you should be good to go. Give it a few moments to load here. And presto, there you go. It says play Halo Reach. Uh, all menus are accessible. And we're going to fire this game up so that you can see for yourself.
At this point, I'm not sure if this game is safe to go online with. I know it's an AP 2.5 game, and I don't know if it's been patched, but this will let you play offline. Here we go. And there we go. Just a temporary. And we'll try a game right now, Firefight, so that you can start to check. Looks like everything is in order. So anyway, this will work with most backups, and pretty much every backup that I've tried works. And the cool thing about this is, right after you <clears throat> head over to the dashboard, right after you've done this fix, you can try another backup. But that's how to get your backups to work again. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.